Welcome to the William Wallace Monument. There are many historical sources that write about William Wallace, but here's what we know for sure. Wallace was born in 1270. For the first 20 years of his life, Scotland was in complete political chaos. In 1297, Wallace kills the Sheriff of Lanark and becomes a prominent leader of the rebellion. He joins forces with Andrew de Moray. Wallace and de Moray win a decisive victory at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. <laughs> De Moray dies of battle wounds, Wallace becomes guardian of Scotland. In 1298, Wallace suffers a devastating defeat at the Battle of Falkirk on 22nd July and resigns his guardianship. Seven years later, in 1305, Wallace is betrayed by Sir John Menteith and captured near Glasgow. He is taken to London for a show trial, accused of treason and condemned to a brutal execution. The following year, in 1306, Robert the Bruce murders John Comyn and is crowned King of Scots. It takes eight years, but in 1314, Robert wins a decisive victory for Scottish freedom at the Battle of Ben. 14 years later, in 1328, the English Crown signs a treaty to relinquish all claims to Scotland. Stirling Castle has its own famous history. One of the most notable residents was Mary, Queen of Scots. In this dining room, she once had a three-day party where you were not allowed to leave. Tragically, she met the edge of the executioner's blade herself at the age of 44. 